Hello, Elite Marketing Pro community. So um, I'm happy to be here. For those of you that are just jumping on, I want to make sure that we are live. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Brandy Shaver, and today is your daily dose of motivation, inspiration, so that you can get your day started right. And this is totally the daily dose takeover because Fernie is out of town. Hi, Jonas. Nice to see you. Um, let's check if we are live. Wanna make sure. Okay, we got Courtney, Nikki, awesome, perfect. So we're rolling, way to go. It's a great day, right? Great Tuesday, wherever you are in the world, it's Tuesday here for me. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Brandy Shaver and I am a network marketer gone rogue. Um, I found Elite Marketing Pro about 17 months ago in February of 2016, and I totally went against my upline. They told me I was completely nuts, that um, I should just continue to build traditionally, and my business at that point was totally going backwards, and I really wanted to quit, but I knew there was a way to figure out how to do this online. So what Elite Marketing Pro has brought to me was I have been able to create a multiple six-figure income in under a year, and it's been a blessing. I have loved every minute of it. It's way cool. I love helping other people. And so what we are talking about today is I wanted to share some information about doing Facebook Lives. Okay, so um, how many of you are doing Facebook Lives? Drop a one in the comments below. And let's see who we've got. Hillary, Les, Stefan, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> yeah, Network Marketer Gone Rogue. Dar Dar oh, Daryl, I can't see, hence the glasses. Derek, awesome. Jill, Tracy, perfect, perfect. So a lot of you are doing Facebook Lives. That's awesome, right? Way to go. I'm proud of you guys because I was scared to death. Um, at our first No Excuses event in San Diego, um, it's been you know over a year ago, they said we needed to do Facebook Lives and I was terrified. How many of you are terrified? Of doing Facebook lives stick a number two down below because I still get super nervous I still have to have my notes I guess it's kind of like my security blanket but um how many of you are terrified of doing Facebook lives I mean seriously like it still scares the crap out of you like that's where I am right so it may seem like people can just like jump on live and uh, just you know pop out a subject and have a great conversation and everything's great um, there are people that can do that but I'm not one of them. I have to prepare and plan and, you know, really think about what I'm going to say because I get nervous. And when I'm nervous, I, you know, I really lose my train of thought. So that's why I have my notes. So you'll see me looking down every now and again to make sure that I, I bring you the content. So number one, before you hit live, you're going to want to pick a topic that educates, entertains, and inspires. Now, how many of you are freaking out already, right? Because this is where I was so hung up on um, what am I going to say? I don't have anything to share with others that can help them move forward. Um, you know, who am I to be the boss? I, you know, I don't make all this money, whatever, you know? And so it really, I really got hung up on this. So drop me a me if this is you, if you sit and fret about what you're going to say, or if you just don't do it, avoid it altogether. So I have heard it all. I don't know what to say. Who wants to listen to me? What if blah, blah, blah. I don't have my makeup on. My hair's not done. Um, I have too many zits, right? I've heard it all, mostly from myself. So this is where you're just going to have to suck it up and do it, okay? Because if you want to make a crap ton of money, you're going to have to do things that you don't always love doing. It's not always rainbows and butterflies in business, in anything, in anything that you do. So number two is write a compelling description of your life, okay? Now, if you struggle in this, like, you know, you're not a copywriting expert or, you know, you don't really know what to say, start reading um, Elite Marketing Pro's emails. They have great subject lines. You can um, use those subject lines for a bunch of different different things. So, you know, you you can just get used to the subject lines that Vitaly is writing or, you know, some of the other people that write for Elite Marketing Pro. Number three, good lighting is a must, okay? And um, so I have a tip for you for the lighting. Thanks, Tara. This is a little um, light that you can get on Amazon and it clips right on your phone. So have any of you guys seen this before? 
you, it's it's really cool. It just has batteries. You can take it wherever you need, but it works in the dark as well. So you just clip it right on your phone. See, works fabulous. All right, so you hold your phone horizontal. Now, if you have already screwed this one up, totally fine. You can still make a crap ton of money um, in your business because all of us have done it. So you hold your phone horizontal when you when you're doing a live. That way, it fills up all of the all of the space in, that's there. Okay. Now, smile and be yourself. Okay. And I'm freaking out just thinking about this because how do you smile and be yourself on a Facebook Live when thousands of people are going to see this, right? So, just how many of you are feeling way overwhelmed with just this one subject? Drop a me down below if you are. If you're feeling overwhelmed with with the content of just this one subject. So this is your brain. It's trying to trick you that Facebook Live is actually going to kill you. <laughs> it's not. I promise. Okay. So the best thing you can do on live is talk to the other person on the other, like if you're having a conversation with a friend. Okay. So sometimes like to give you an example, because Jonas is on here and I know Jonas, you know, I could just talk to Jonas just like we're having a conversation. Have it be about Jonas. Don't have it be about you. It's not about your zits. It's not about your hair. It's not about your makeup. It's not about being beautiful. It's not about saying all the right things. It's about bringing value to the other person on the other side. And once you get over that, over that, that it's not about you, it's about someone else, it will be so much easier for you. Okay. So, all right. So, Leroy, yeah, Leroy, yes, me for sure. Lisa, me. Yes, Jill. Yes. So, some of you are freaking out. Okay. I get it. So number four, now it's time to go live, and this is when it gets scary, okay, because you hit the live button, and it counts down, and it totally will freak you out, maybe, if if you're freaked out already, it will. So when you go live, look at the camera. So the camera piece, um, and I'm blind again, so I have to find mine. So the camera piece on your phone, don't look at the actual phone. This is where you will be, but when you're looking at the camera piece on the side, stare at this piece then you are connecting with the people because your eyeballs, you know, you can record a couple and see which way works best, but you'll be able to tell. So your eyeballs need to look at them, not at yourself, okay? So take a deep breath and then don't wait for people to jump on because I know a lot of people will get on a live and then they wait for people to come on. Um, just start just start into your, introduce yourself, engage with the audience, um, you know, so you could say, hey, my name is Brandy Shaver. I'm a network marketer gone rogue. Um, I teach people how to build their businesses online. Okay, so um, hi, Melinda. Hi, Barry. Nice to see you. So I teach network marketers how to, you know, build their businesses online and then engage with them. You can say, hey, drop me a line. Where are you coming in from? Um, Barry and Lori are really good at this as well on their Facebook lives. I stalk them. So you can, um, you know, you can learn from other people as well. And then, um, you go right in to tell me what you're what you're going to talk about. So the content of the Facebook Live. What we're going to talk about today is the basics of Facebook Live. Okay, and then engage with those that have commented before because Facebook Live you have a little bit of a delay. So you know you you want to kind of keep going. So ask a couple questions during the content, kind of like I did when I was sharing the um, you know the basics before you get started. And then when people come in and and drop you a line, you know you can Marilyn yeah. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to see you. And your live was good. Don't delete it. So um, ask a couple questions. So is this making sense to anybody? Is this helping anybody, bringing value to anybody? Stick a yes down below. Okay. So tell a story after you've delivered the content, engaged with your audience. Tell a story about results using the content or either before or after. Okay. So, you know, it doesn't have to be the story before or after. Just using the content, what kind of your results are. Or if you have a friend that's using the results. Yes, Sally, you need that light. It's good. Hi, Heather. Awesome. Good. Okay. So it's making sense. We're getting some love at least. Okay. So then engage again and then give your call to action. So your call to action, an example of a call to action for this live would be, hey, grab the free boot camp above that, um, you know, will give you more amazing tips on how to build your, your business on social media for you know, your network marketing business. So there's a ninja trick I just learned um, a couple days ago. When you do it on your mobile, there's a like a, a menu thing on the side that you can you can play around with those settings. There's one for um, lighting. So if you're in a if you don't have a light like this, but if you you know you can use the little lighting thing to fix your lighting. And then there's a flip screen that you can actually flip your screen. So if you use the horizontal one, 
um, if you do the vertical one, it will actually put you on the ceiling. But if you do the horizontal one, you can share what's on your screen. So if you want to share a picture of a book or if you're, you know, you're talking about something that you want to share a picture. So there is a bunch of those that you can play around with. Now, to be honest, okay, how many of you are going to commit to doing Facebook Lives? Now, when I say commit, you can't just do one, okay? You're going to commit to either doing one a week, you know, three a week, one every other week, as long as you're consistent using them. Drop me a me that I'm doing it in the, in the comments below. Drop me a me for I'm committing to do Facebook Lives. And you, those, those of you that are already doing them, put a me as well so that, you know, they can see that everybody, everybody's on the same page. So it's better to suck it up right now. And um, Facebook Live gets, that gets more engagement and it gets put in front of other people other before other things like Facebook wants more video on, on their, their platform. So that's why they're giving, um, I don't know what, I think it's a dome light, Don. Just, you can just search on Amazon, like it's a cell phone light or something like that. I can put it in the comments later when we're done. So the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is give yourself some time. Stop comparing yourself to others and use the five second rule. Okay. The five second rule is five, four, three, two, one. I'm doing it right. Just do it. Successful people pick their way through things that other people think that is impossible. Okay. So choose to persist without exception. Okay. So everyone wants to win the game, but they're not very few are willing to show up to practice every day. And that comes from John Maxwell. So if you guys haven't seen him, hello from Brazil. Hello, Ingrid. Nice to see you. So every significant thing that you do in your business, it's going to be hard. Okay. If it was easy, everybody would do it and there wouldn't, you wouldn't make as much money. Okay. Um, so I want you to promise that you'll persist without exception. And then when you get to the point where you want to quit and you have persisted, this is the part that's very important. So listen closely. You want to keep moving forward because this is the test. Honestly, there's a big reward on the other side and the world is going to feel like it's like dropping down on you. It will. It will feel like it's after you. And that is just the nature of the way things work when you want something. So develop the habit of persistence without exception. Okay. So with persistence, you can achieve anything. So I want you to start operating in faith instead of fear, okay? Because when you operate in faith, you know that your business is gonna move forward. You know you're gonna figure this out, right? And when you operate in fear, a man in fear lives on the edge of insanity. It seriously will make you crazy. And it keeps you from your goals, your dreams, and your freedoms, okay? So you've gotta just move through it. Ignore the fear and there, there's no reward in it, I promise. So persist without exception and stomp out the fear. So the door that you guys need to walk through is the one labeled with your fear. It may be um, techie stuff, right? It may be Facebook lives. It may be whatever it, it, but that whatever it is that terrifies you the most is, is what you're going to have to suck up and do before you can, you know, move forward in your business. So I want to tell you a story about an Australian tribe of Aboriginal rain dancers. This particular tribe was always making it rain. Okay, and um, in the community there, the, the people that were there that are, are not Ab Aborigine, they were in trouble due to drought, okay, and they called on this specific tribe because, you know, they had this, um, this way of making it rain, and, and all the Aboriginal tribes, you know, did the same rain dances, but this tribe particularly could make it rain whenever they want. So the leader of this community went to the king of the tribe and he asked, why every time you dance does it rain? Okay. And the king replied with a very sly smile on his face. It's very simply, really. We dance until it rains. So your failure and success are totally in your hands. And the only way that you fail is by quitting. So that's all I have for you guys today. I'm going to jump off because there's somebody ringing my doorbell. Of course, when you're doing Facebook Live, stuff happens. But um, grab that link above. So whoever shared this with you, there'll be a link above for you to get the exact same training that um, I got a hold of 17 months ago, as well as the person that I shared it with you. So that will be above. And I appreciate you all being here. Have a fabulous week, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.